All right, all right, all right, we're back. And we're on Kadara's surface, so let's go meet PB at the bar. See what she needs to talk about, what plan she hatched, what information she's gleamed. Um, I know he's probably just drunk. Hey, she found a friend. You are my new best friend. Ah, Ryder. I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. What's your name again? Samrick. Right, right. Samrick here has been so sympathetic about Pock being stolen. He used to run with our pal Kalinda, and he knows where her crews congregate. Safe houses, rallying points, etc. Well, that makes Samrick a truly important person. He's having some trouble understanding that. Look, uh, I appreciate the drinks and the flattery and all, but Kalinda doesn't take kindly to people discussing her business interests. She busted me up pretty bad when she kicked me out of her outfit. I don't really want to repeat. You might have more immediate fears, don't you think? You've survived what Kalinda dishes out, but you have no idea what Ryder can do. And after you spill your guts, Kalinda will punish you herself for talking anyway. So why take an extra beating? All right, all right. Shit, you people don't play fair. Thanks, Ryder. I think he'll cooperate now. I'll know where to look for Pac soon. Sounds good. We gotta go back to Elodin, dear lord. One desert planet after another. <sighs> All right, out we go. been great if it was just on Kadara. Could have went Ryder. down to the surface, could have had a little fun, roughed up I a few people. Okay. Well, then we go. We're on course. That's fine. Make them landing immediately. Oh wait, no, I do have PB equipped, that's good, okay. I think it's PB and Vetra. On the dust ball, are we going?
all the way out here? Jesus Christ. All right, let's do it. There it is. At least what looks like we got a straight path. Yeah, 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 they're gonna Hostiles shoot at me. Ahead. Fuck. Getting pretty close pretty quick. Got them all. It's not there, I know. Should be able to just blue uh breeze. Outlaws right past with some that. kind of tech ahead. that little base out there, but it doesn't look like it. Holy shit, that is a chasm of all chasms. Really more outlaws? And why are you landing in the middle of the desert? There's nothing there. Stead out in the desert. Damn it. Abandoned. I scuttled everything. Well, well we're here. We Might find. as well search it. Figures all I left was junk. Hello. Ryder, he's got Pock. She's broken though. Guess Kalinda didn't take very good care of her. Hey, I don't want any trouble. I found the site abandoned. By scavenger law, it's all mine. Yeah, all right. You made that up. Um, scavenger law? Scavengers get to make up the laws? No, then you could just make up new ones. <clears throat> well, I'm a businessman, you see, so I'm willing to sell if you see anything you like. Did you see where the crew that used the site went? No. They were trouble, though. Led by a pain in the ass Asari with a mean as spit Krogan toady. They've been picking remnant sites clean all over. Never leave anything worthwhile behind. Right. But uh, they screwed up and left some choice items here, though. You ever hear of an Asari named Kalinda Terev? That's the uh, pain in the ass Asari I stupidly mentioned. <sighs> Please don't tell her I called her that, or next time I see her, it's my ass. Oh, you've seen her before. Yeah? So you better do right by us. How much for that broken observer? What, this thing? Yeah, it may look trashed, but I assure you, it's easy to fix right up. In fact, I could do it myself and make a killing, so uh, no discounts. Right. This guy's gonna put her back together. Can I just Let's shoot him? Let's get down to business. Okay, look, what do you think is fair for the Observer? Take this, and consider yourself lucky. Yep, that'll do. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll get her to the Tempest and put her together. Thank you, Ryder. Maybe this Kalinda nightmare is over. Don't start going naive on me, PB. Yeah. Regardless, I can upgrade my remnant scanner now. Come see me back at the ship. All right. Okay, that did nothing. Fun. You get to keep your life today, sir. Pleasure doing business with you. Remember that. Son of a bitch, get in the, get in the nomad.
All right, PB, let's have a word. PB said she wanted to talk to you. I know. There you are. Hi. Okay, who stole PB and put you in her clothes? Not funny. It's a little funny. Okay, it's a little funny. I received this. Hey, babe. Sorry I broke your pet. It lacked versatility. Couldn't keep up. Maybe I'll do the same with your other new toy. Ta. She means you. I hate her. Really? Are you sure about that? Oh, I don't know. It's not that she took my bot and broke her. We got Pock back and I repaired her. Better than ever. Now my scanner's fully upgraded and sweeping the cluster for remnant signals. We won. So what's the problem? It's just... drummed up feelings I thought I'd put behind me. Turns out I just buried them. This is what happens when you let people in. You acquire baggage. I travel light, damn it. No baggage. Letting people in can be life-changing in the best way. In a never-been-done way. I want to, but also I don't. That's the problem with strings. Too complicated. I let Kalinda become important to me. Look where that ended up. Now you've become, or you're becoming, important. But you need to know, I resist checking out of this hotel every day. With accommodations like these, I don't blame you. You are funny. I just need a little space. Time to think. Hopefully, my now Remtech-infused scanner will pick up something amazing and make all this Kalinda trouble worthwhile. Okay, well, we're putting that on hold. Sings a little bit, but I suppose that's how it's gotta be. Let's go to the Nexus now, finally. Journal. Oh shit, that was incorrect. Let's finally go talk to the leadership. journey. Thanks, game. Nexus looks pretty damn good, though, still. Probably a lot better than when we first got here. Let's, uh, let's go to Ops, speak to everybody. A hostage crisis in hydroponics ended after Nexus security forcibly removed protesters, resulting in numerous injuries. Tensions reached a boiling point after protesters complained their families were being kept in stasis in favor of sleepers with Okay. All personnel are in. The Turians are finally coming in. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. She looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's her own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. 
There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Arc Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. But I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Well, holy shit, Scott's awake. Let's go say hello. Scott. There you are. Touchy-feely time. Don't you think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Please, it's nothing like that. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? I know you don't like being reminded you're my little brother, but you are. So relax, and let your sister take care of things. <sighs> if you say so. More sleep for me. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. All right, let's have a conversation. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Yep, we'll give do. me a sec. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Very. <laughs> uh, just the fate of the universe. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. <laughs> God. At least you get to do that. I couldn't imagine having a catheter put in. Ugh. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess Rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? A lot of shit. 
Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? When Mom called Dad to tell him she was sick. Wow. Mom. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Uh, do you miss the Milky Way? Well, he hasn't been awake long to miss much. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. The things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Yeah, uh, what's wrong? Screwed up how? I start with Mom dying. I never cried so hard. And Dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. You and I were never going to live that down. Anything else? Uh, talk about the parents. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? I never really knew with Dad. He could be so distant. I guess he loved us more than we knew. When it mattered most. Yeah. All right, get some well, rest. I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a <laughs> nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. Yeah, that's gotta suck. I know. <laughs> this is no good. All right, let's go to the tech labs. Have a little council meeting with the other Pathfinders. Yeah, that's not really what happened. She kind of just like, they just kind of like jabbed at each other, didn't make any contact, and then she tripped him. <laughs> I don't know if she killed him after we left, but that really wasn't a challenge. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. Hmm. As you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it, though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Sure, if they'd pay us once in a while. Not after this. First, you'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology. Then we'll rendezvous at Meridian. Good luck. All right, we've got sort of a bit of a plan underway. We can research it from here. Was it augmentations? 
aerial lubrication. Uh, lubricant. Is it sticky grenade launcher? Grenade launcher. Attach it to shot. Oh, no, non shotgun weapon. Okay, so I can attach it to something. So, what does the vintage heat sink do? After a delay, and it reduces clip size by 60%. Nah, fuck that. Electric conduits. Weapon now fires a beam of energy. Equilibrium regulator. I guess we can research all of these. We don't have to build any ones we don't want. Oh. Okay, so where do I... Do I do that on the Tempest, then? Does it count under Helios? What about augmentations for the remnant? Shield sensors gain 50% when shields are broken. Interesting. All right, whatever. So I guess we have to do it on uh, on our ship. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Supervised work release is a programmer, making up for what my mother did. Trying to stop AI. Nav upgrades, of course. I swear she said she'd only disable the blue Zanwar. box computers in storage. No one was meant to get hurt. Will your opinions on artificial intelligence be a problem? Look, I'll never think Pathfinder implants are a good idea. So I'll be a watchdog. Make Sam absolutely hack proof. We'll keep an eye on Pathfinder. It'll be fine. Alright, sounds good. Down we go. We've had no trouble, Bafa. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's research it. Ryder, could we chat? Sure. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, when you found the Solarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean like everything? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Solarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Solarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that. I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure. Where is he? Havarl? I suppose we can make sure and check it out. If it's a hoax, it's a hoax, and we can just ignore the dude. Oh, there it is. Landing. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. At least it's not one of the dust planets. <laughs> 
Somebody's hiding. And I mean, he's really hiding. Like, out in the middle of nowhere. He couldn't have, like, what do you gone think this was for? to one of the outposts. Kind of Alright, we got a remnant up ahead. Good to move. Maybe not. Is it is it down? It's down. we were sent that message about the solarian arc so are we checking it out there's Ken all over ah uh, damn it who's next search the area From their gear, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Solarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughn, STG. Retired, of course. Figured. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. By any means necessary. Even assassination. If you prefer. As I said, these days I stick with retiree. Espionage is a job that follows you home, or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank, there are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden, but the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. How would... How would they even do that? Who's Adam? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the Ket. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Hager help you with this? Hager's too green to be corrupt, but his team's another story. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. Right. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adden? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. But remember Dr. Adden's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. Okay. Handler on board. Okay, so both are on board. Uh, 
we get to stop from the tedium of desert planets. Thank God. In combat, damn it. Who dares think they can kill me? They're very high up. Let's see if we can just go this way and avoid it. Still out of my okay, good. In combat, I'm not in combat. Who, dear lord, okay. Um, I suppose we'll just have to find our way up the normal way, the conventional way, the non fast travel way. It seems like it involves going around more remnants. Wait. go back to the tempest now nope no we cannot doesn't matter really oh shit Functioning vault affected this area. Oh, I no. recommend scanning for accelerated growth. Oh god. You know, let's just run to the tempest. Fuck trying to fight my way through it. You may wish to scan the life forms in your immediate area for growth mutations, Pathfinder. <laughs> Where's the team? Keep moving. Don't get distracted. Yeah, they're getting distracted. It's fine. Nice they're work. Okay. Right, here's the daughter right here. Let's finally get back to the ship. Oh It's a good thing both of those objectives are also on hold. Because going to two different planets would just not be great. Yeah, I'll talk to PB once we get this done.
it's over here. I'm so used to the planet being like up and to the right or left. Beginning approach. Old orbit is steady. Disembark. Good. Approaching the LZ. Back to the frozen ice caps of old. It's been a while. Okay. Oh, it's one of them is right where we can just fast travel and scan. Good. This is probably is a quick That's Techx according to my map. What he was doing in an Ugar in town, I don't know, but probably just an exchange studying the ice clusters and whatnot. Uh, no, they said he was a biologist, right? So he probably, um... This must be Dr. Adam's workspace, the one the STG agent is investigating. Ah. He might have been studying the Angara. Did I... What the hell? Oh. Good there, buddy. This equipment has been sterilized yeah, with a standard radioisotope. Is it true? There are trace elements of biomaterial that could be consistent you mean with the exaltation remnant? pods. I'm no threat to them. Never have been. Tell them to stop hurting me. Why would the remnant come after you? I dig for useful things around the pillars. Good tech. The machines always left me alone until now. You were misinformed. I can't actually talk to the remnant. Even if I could, I don't think they'd listen. Well, good are you then? Thanks for nothing. Sorry. Right, where's the other thing? Not too far from this uh, fast travel site. Okay. That's right, we're on pure ice. Remnant site. It'll probably have defenses. Perhaps, but we'll uh Cat signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. Yeah, figured. Oh, like right there. That is not Let's even where we need to go. Let's get a scan. What's up, bitches? Does he need to be alive to be scanned? I'll that take that as a the agent was right. This cat was Dr. Adam's contact. Very good. Got them off her back. Who's next? None of that, please. Thank you. Shotgun rain. More. Did they just land or something? I'm reading the temperature decrease. There he is. Speak to him about my findings. Do I speak to him on the Tempest? Like where? 
This cat has a Milky Way comm device implanted. Particle vibration on the transmitter resembles Solarian encryptions. Resembles doesn't prove much. The cat could have found the implant on the Solarian arc. Best leads on Adam's betrayal and they're both circumstantial. So we cleared an innocent man. How about we talk to Hager about this back on the Nexus? He might have something. Okay, let's go do it. Though, Sam say, did say it was an implant. We'll see, we'll see. PB's been looking for you. I know, you don't have to keep telling me. Old Arba is steady. Okay, we're back on the Nexus. Let's make some inquiries. We're, he's an ops, I bet. Let's have a chat. Where, where'd it go? I'm sorry, man. I'll talk to you in a bit. Ah, Ryder. Your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Dr. Adin. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adam, but sort of stalled. What do you make of Salem's theory that someone betrayed your people? It doesn't seem possible, but there's so much that doesn't fit otherwise. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of those ARC officers, Rand Lon, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just see what's there. Okay, we'll do that. I think we'll do that when we return though. So I thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, for watching. Uh, when we return, we're gonna do that. Probably hit Meridian as well. Talk to PB and see what she needs. So, um, if you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.